Welcome to another episode of my Devil May Cry Let's Play. We are back to give it another try with Hurting Cats over here. Or Hurting Cats, depending on how it goes. I came prepared. So I have a few more items that I can use here. It's a tough fight, so I would rather have a bit of backup. Let's go. You've seen my first attempt. I don't know if this one is going to be um, put up on YouTube. Depends on whether this is going to go my way here. I should really focus on one single of these freebies, but right now I'm kind of attacking every single one of them willy nilly. That's the thing that we need, and I think that this is enough damage. Let's try and get away here. Because that one is going to explode and it's also giving, going to give us back some um, health here, which we definitely, desperately need. So, um, grab the green orb. But now we are down to two, that's already a lot better. Even though I wish they weren't all that crazy angry. And yeah, I switched to the other one once again. It's annoying how that sometimes goes. Okay. We can go for a vital star. Or untouchable. Let's go for a vital star. So that's just a bit more health. Filling us up yes, yet again. Fucking hell. And yeah, I'm now using my devil trigger just to regenerate a little bit. Also to make a bit more damage. I hope that is enough. No, it's not. Okay. Untouchable. So this is going to give us Devil Trigger for a while. It's not going to um, allow us to take any damage. So this should be very good. And okay, Red Cat is red glowing, so we are good here. That's exploding. Out of Untouchable, so getting a... Rido over here. Ah, oh, fuck these. What the hell was even going on there? Anyways, it's. Doesn't matter. We seem to have done it. Jesus Christ. Okay, that was the second attempt, the last one you saw in the other episode. And we get another blue op for it, at the very least something over here. Oh, but... God, this was stressful. I saw a guide that told me to focus on one cat. Doesn't fucking work with auto um, aim and all of that and auto lock on. And I'm not really proud of using both items here, but I did what I thought I have to. And hey, at the very least, that gave us the um, result. But yeah, if I find another grindable mission along the way, I'm definitely going to use that. Also, for those interested, since I saved after finishing the other two um, missions, I couldn't do them again. They are just Regular area areas now. I couldn't maybe also try the shotgun. But then I would need to be really close to the cats and I didn't really like that idea. Also, spread of a shotgun, not good if you're trying to only aggro one single enemy at a time. But hey, we did it. 
Also apparently our uh, our life bar is now long enough that it actually is uh, split in two. So you can see there's a little bit to the top left there. And that's most likely also how much a single um, blue orb is giving us. So it's not really all that much per blue orb. And there are a lot of work to get, but hey. Gotta do it. Because in the grand scheme of things, they are of course very important. And you know what, I'm going to just quickly buy another um, uh, vital style for the release. And yeah, the untouchable 1k, it's pricey. But it can pull you through a few um, tough spots and you can also find them in later levels. But yeah, the thing that I would like to buy next if I can would be the air raid. That's the devil trigger function, which we are going to see, yeah, hopefully. <laughs> but let's finish the rest of the mission. You know what, I'm just gonna bypass these um, nonsense enemies. Screw you. I'm faster just running away from you. So much about uh, grinding everything, but I've done these quite a few times now. I had to even grind up enough um, red orbs in order to get the untouchable and vital stars, so it took me a while to even get into this and uh, preparing everything. I'm glad that it at least worked out. Even though I would have really preferred not spending both items. But hey, we did it. So let's go get the death sentence. By the way, you have seen the, um, uh, the cutscene at the end of the last episode. Our amulet shone through and yeah, the Black Knight just um, saw it and backed off. So I thought it would be a good idea to take another look at it. Amulet, a memento of Dante's mother. In the back is an engraving, Virgil and Dante. So, yeah. Just so you know. This thing doesn't really have a function in this game per se. It's not like you can activate it and it does something. Has something written, yeah. The sword is right next to us basically. And if we flop down over here, we can actually go straight in. I should also maybe try uh, taunting a bit more. I've, I don't really do that, but yeah, it wouldn't hurt. Maybe the opponent's feelings and that might actually help me. Might also backfire, who knows. But yeah, taunting is kind of a um, big part of the game. And I usually ignore it. Okay, let's do this part again. And let's go outside. Yeah, let's give him a good beating here. Oh, screw that attack. Jesus. 
The thing is, we both hit like trucks. We don't always hit, but if it connects, then it's going to do a lot of damage. Either way. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. But honestly, I'm really glad at this point that the whole cat mission uh, didn't turn out to be like a 10 attempt um, kind of thing. Like, do it until you're tired and then some. I think that almost killed me. But yeah, Black Knight or Nero Angelo as he's called here. Being pretty good in CQC. Doesn't really need that bigger sword. The thing about this is, his name, according to a lot of sources, is Nelo Angelo, so N-E-L-O, but I think it might just be one of those uh, Japanese things, because they sometimes just... Uh, okay, I'm... Rank D now. Great. Quite the downgrade. <laughs> um... I didn't want to do that here. Uh, in Japanese, the way they pronounce L and R is kind of close together. And sometimes they get the um, preferred pronunciation if they use the other letter. So, for example, in uh, One Piece, Zoro is called Zolo in writing. But that's because if they read Zolo, they pronounce it Zoro, while otherwise it would be the opposite way around. So it's a bit confusing whether um, uh, the name is supposed to be Nelo Angelo or Nero. And I mean, it would be kind of interesting if he really was supposed to be Nero, because, well, um, Devil May Cry 4. Okay, we have enough, enough money for the air raid. Let's uh, buy it. And yeah, mission 5, guiding of the soul. Go to the destination before the power of a melancholy soul fades away. Also, I should probably, and I was supposed to do this between episodes. I hope you can still see the whole thing. Oh yeah, um, I needed to quickly go and adjust my guide, scroll down a little. Oh, and doing that may have kind of screwed up the game here. So you may notice that it's kind of running a bit slow and that's not great. Let me quickly tap out again. It's going to freeze on your end for a moment. And when I go back into the game, I hope it's, um, yeah, it's full speed again. I'm sorry about it. I should have maybe adjusted it um, between episodes, but I forgot. So yeah, our Melancholy Soul activated and we now have a time limit until it runs out. Okay, I'm just gonna go in full, just trying to get this all done. Run away, playing catch with a cat here. And I think it should also be kinda done. Oof. 
Okay, anyways, um, stop. I need to quickly read the guide. In the area where uh, the fight with Nilo Angelo happens, again in the fandom they also call him Nilo, this can be assessed through the previous mission by kick jumping up through the hole above the balcony or even the la la. Uh, bus. Jump to the area above the entrance and go past the hole, jumping to the left tower. Red orb cash and an attachable. Oh, apparently it's a good idea that I actually cop the air hike here. So it's supposed to be somewhere around here, we just need to go to the other side. This might be a reason why we end up not um, we being able to um, keep within the time limit. But yeah, apparently it's somewhere around here. Oh! And I don't have enough orbs for that. How am I supposed to go up there? Um. I don't know. I haven't done this before. Maybe there's something with a tower in the middle? Nope, that thing is even higher than anything else. So yeah, I gotta figure that one out. And I'm also too low on my devil trigger in order to actually activate that and do anything with that. Give me a moment. Um, jump to the area above the entrance, which we are at now. Jumping to the left tower, just off camera, which has a red orc uh, cache and an untouchable. Then back across to the high tower. So I think from this side we need to go to the left. And yeah, this also... God, the camera is so weird. Is it in front of me or behind me? I can't really tell. <laughs> yeah. Okay, now we need to make our way over. So we may need to come back here. I didn't want to jump down all the way. There is a little hole in the um, uh, top balcony there, which will get us back to the door. And from where we should be able to go to some enemies and come back afterwards. But hey, this also allows me to show you guys how um, you can do the entire mission if you run out of the initial time limit. So yay, I guess. Usually it's pretty easy. Defeat the cat. And go down here. The power of a melancholy soul has died. Guiding of a soul, retry. Feed the power back into the melancholy soul and try again. So this is not just a game over, this is just an alternative way to do the mission. You now need to go to an altar and uh, have the soul replenished. And I didn't really notice this being a problem or even option before because, well, I usually do this stuff first try, but then I also don't always go for these many extra things on the side. So I hope this uh, whole thing works now, because otherwise I'm kind of in trouble and we might be in a bit of a loop here. And I'm going to make sure that for the next uh, part I'll be giving the, uh, the guide a proper look over. I didn't really expect to do the cat battle this um, successfully so quickly. Okay, the jump is also a bit more spicy than I thought.
Ah, dang it. So close. And yeah, we just have to go around everything here every time. Also trying to deal with the camera. Come on! Can I go onto the um, uh, side wall before jumping over? The whole jumping mechanic in this game and honestly most of the series is... It's a bit dodgy. It's not amazing, by any means. <laughs> Did it first try, making it look easy and then just not able to replicate it again. And they're just going through emotions here over and over, this is not helping. But hey, this gives me some time to talk about the whole melancholy soul business while we are trapped in this loop here. Because for me, while um, it's kind of cool that the, um, this soul in particular has um, something to it where you actually need to do things in a time limit before it dies and everything. I think overall their use of... Ah, thankfully. Okay, this is the air raid, just being able to fly through things. A blue up fragment. Also, I can... I can shoot lightning like this. This is the main reason for that uh, function. But it's also pretty useful in some other things here. Anyways, the whole thing about the items that are being used in this game for just opening up the next section, it doesn't always do it for me. It just seems a bit random, just a lot of weirdly named items and in the end, well, they basically all go onto some uh, socket, some al altar or something. Like they don't really seem to be doing a lot of things that uh, really have much to do with what type of item you're using and what you would expect to be doing with it. Jesus Christ, I hate the circling attack. Stop it, I'm getting dizzy. <laughs> Finally. So yeah, we cannot use the soul right here. What the fuck? Let's see if shot by any man's power. And doesn't recognize the soul, so we need to be quicker. And for that we now need to go for recharge. Um, where was I? So the items seem a bit random and they don't really always fit in. I just think I went the wrong way. I should have gone um, another story lower. Um, the thing is, and this is something that I only noticed, well, pretty much got told by watching um, an essay on that matter here on YouTube and I'll link it in the description if I can find it again and if I remember. Basically the game takes a lot of inspiration from Dante's Inferno. So yeah I didn't read that myself so I can only um, do so much of um, some of those explanations. But yeah, that's also where a lot of um, stuff that's going on here is coming from and especially a lot of the items. Like the Melancholy Soul, um, the Judge of Death, um, who is... Uh, that was the statue that appeared after we picked up uh, Alistair. And a lot of things here pretty much hint towards the... Um, hint towards uh, Dante's Inferno, starting with the name of our protagonist and even his brother Virgil. But in the end, um, 
while that's kind of cool in its own way, it's also something that I'm having a bit of a mis of a mis uh, feel about. But yeah, this is where we're guiding souls together, and should I seal the power into the melancholy soul? Yep, giving me another three minutes to get back onto my whole thing here. The thing is, in the end, they are just referencing the Divine Comedy, and it's... I mean, is it... Is that her Divine Comedy? I don't know, there's... There's some... Uh, I'm mixing up topics here. I think the Divine Comedy is an alternative title for that. And then we now have to fight another Shadow here. So maybe get off the fucking balcony. Having a bit more space. Ah, dang it, he got me. You really have to focus on your topic if you are um, trying to do this stuff at the same time. Uh, that, that wasn't enough. I think that's, that's the one thing I really don't like about the enemy. Is that you can't always do um, enough damage in one swing. Or um, does the one go when its uh, power source is open? And it kinda resets afterwards, so it seems to be healing. So just doing a little damage isn't really going to help here. Ah, that may have been just enough. But I had it a few times where it's opened up like three times and it just didn't work for me. Uh, whatever. So in the end, um, these, items name, these item names and everything is just referencing and I don't know. I would have preferred if they found a better way of uh, utilizing these um, things. In some ways they do, the whole um, soul thing with a timer here is kinda cool. But there are going to be a lot later down the line which are just um, not doing much at all. And even the whole Alistair um, Judge of Death thing is kinda weird. Having the wall there in the beginning, but it later changing into uh, something completely different at the same point, at the same location there, for no apparent reason. Bit weird. Okay, but we've done it. Yeah, there's something written. Shall I use the Melancholy Soul? Yes. And that's all that we do with it. So, ultimately, um, I don't mind that they have uh, put in some references to uh, Dante's Inferno. I don't mind, I, and I really like the castle, so I'm absolutely happy with them. Be using things that, are, that were meant for a Resident Evil game, but I feel like these things aren't really, um, uh, they're not really supporting each other. So maybe something about the castle should have been altered in order to make the um, whole item stuff a bit more, uh, look a bit more like it's uh, meant to be there and fit in a bit better. Or maybe they should have dropped a few of the items in favor of maybe just a few more standard things. I think this entire point is going to become a bit more clearer with later missions. This one I think was still pretty well handled. That's handled with um, the time limit and all of that. There was a special element to this item compared to the keys and other stuff in the past. But that's sadly not always the case. So yeah. That's gonna be it for this one. We went through the special mission, we, sp we went through the mission 5, so I'm pretty happy with that and I'm gonna be saving here once again level B. <laughs> I hate that the only one that I now have level D I think is the one from last mission. But hey, that's how it goes som sometimes. Still plenty of time to improve and I hope I can do some of that at least. With that being said, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed and see you guys next time 
Have a good one. Bye bye.